Hello everybody, welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. So let's just start the episode off by going to Zen Garden. As I said at the end of last video, if you take a look at my Zen Garden, wow, that's a lot more plants than I had last time. Yeah, I've been playing this a couple times off of ca off camera, got a bunch more marigold plants, and speaking of which, we're gonna go ahead and buy three more of them. And as you can see, our wallet is not as high as you probably saw it was last time. And you might be wondering, Artie, what are you doing? You, you were saving up for the nine seed slot packet and you got like no money left. Well, like I said before, short-term investment for long-term payoff. We're gonna buy some more fertilizer. And I think this is the time we're also gonna buy our good friend Stinky the Snail. And we'll show what he's all about. So here's Stinky. He's gonna move around and pick up the coins for us. So we're gonna start watering everything. So as these coins come out, well, Stinky will pick them up if he's close by. Right now he's pretty slow. But if we leave it on the ground there, crawls up and yep, he collected it for us. So he's slow now, but there's a power up you can get that will make him faster. And uh, that's gonna make things a lot better. So you're, there you go, Stinky, pick those up for me. Yes, I've spent $3,000 on a snail that is this slow, but as I said before, you're gonna see. There's a reason I'm doing all this stuff. Just trust me. We'll be rolling in gold before long. I keep accidentally clicking on the fertilizer, which would be bad if I use it early. Also, all of these fully grown marigolds, I can sell for 3,000 G a piece. So anytime I want, I can just sell them, make a profit, and then if I sold all of them, I would have a massive amount of cash. Yeah, there's a power up we can collect through the game. I believe it's only from random drops that if we use it on Stinky, oh my gosh, you have no idea the amazing things that will happen. So a lot of people want that, uh, the phonograph. That's another thing I'd love to save up for. That'll probably be my next thing I save up for. Full. Fertilize you. Oh, hey, it's a regular colored marigold. Ain't that something. There we go. Alright. So the stinky will be here. But, I mean, he's not going to really do anything. But I just wanted to buy him because we need to start collecting all the power-ups for him. And we, can, we can't get the power-ups from the store. we got to get it from playing the actual gameplays. So now we're going to go back to minigames and continue with the second row. Starting with Invisigool. So, that looks interesting. Yeah, so, it's going to be a fog level. Without the fog, though. So, basically, nighttime pool, no fog. And all of the zombies on this level are... Invisible. We can't see them. That's what invisible means. As we can see from the ice up there, there's gonna be there's a zombie up there. So next attack plant that we get, we're gonna put in the top lane. Of course the conveyor belt might be a bit of a jerk and not give me attack plants. There we go. So we can thankfully still see where the zombies are if they get hit by projectiles. But it's kind of annoying for the beginning of the rounds, where uh, we can't see anything, so we don't know where the optimal place to put our <laughs> attack plants are. And we can use ice shrooms to see. Alright, so there's a zombie over here. So if we could just get another attack plant, that would be great. Also, if you have multiple copies of a plant on the conveyor belt, that'll decrease the chances you'll get more of them. So if I keep these two ice shrooms on the conveyor belt, it will lessen the chances that I will get another ice shroom. Alright, this is annoying. The game is being extremely stingy with the attack plants that I get. Really? A third lily pad? Are you serious? I'm gonna have to stall them even more. Okay, for real? Where are all the pea shooters? I kind of need a consistent attacker in every single lane eventually. Yes. 
This is ridiculous. This is one of the reasons why the conveyor belt levels are my least favorite, because if the conveyor belt just says you don't get a plant, finally! And that's still not a great attack plant all by itself, but... I guess that'll help a little bit. Alright, here we go. All right, okay, there we go. So the first zombie went into the water. So there's one up here. Oh no, you don't. That's the problem with Colonel Pulse. If you got two of them in a lane, they're great, but if you just have one and no backup for it, it's not the best. That guy's gonna squash the plant up there eventually. Pretty soon. There we go. This is not too bad, it's just kind of obnoxious. Oh. That was a road cone zombie. I saw part of his road cone hat pop off. That sounded like a bucket zombie. We're gonna get rid of him. First of two waves is coming, very well. Uh-oh. I don't care where the Dolphin Rider zombie is, we're making some lily pads. Yep, so he'll jump over the lily pad and then he'll slow down. Oh, interesting. The Dolphin Rider zombie doesn't leave a bit of ice behind. There we go. Oh, walnut's sad. Let's give some backup over there then. Oh no. The entourage has arrived. It's Jack in the Box Zombie. Jeez, how many zombies are in this lane? Oh. No, that's the wrong lane. Take this, Zomboni. Goodness me, that is a lot of zombies. You know, this level would be a little more doable if they would give me some attack plants. But all the plants they're giving me are squash and lily pads and the occasional walnut. I've gotten so almost no pea shooters. There we go, some backup. Get out of there. I don't. That must have been like two bucket zombies next to each other. That, that was ridiculous. Oh my gosh, another pea shooter. I'm not put- I'm not worried about the water lanes as much. Which is why I'm putting all my pea shooters on the- on land. Again, fewer zombies go in the water, so you need to fortify your land lanes more. I'm keeping the free lily pads here again, because this will decrease the chances that they show up on the conveyor belt. That squash is just like, you, you want me to be used for anything? 
Okay, at this point, I, I will add a little bit more firepower to our... Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Nice job, Squash. Jeez Louise. How are these zombies getting so close? Let's, let's put that, put a stop to that. Uh-oh. That's not good. There's a Dolphin Rider zombie behind, <laughs> at this walnut. Not helping matters is the fact that the pea shooters just aren't very strong. Like, they're not bad, but when you're up against a bunch of bucket zombies, which it really seems like we are, eh, it's a little lackluster. All right, here's the final wave, though. Which means we should be good. Even if even if every zombie gets past us, the lawnmowers and pool cleaners will take care of the rest. Let's Ice Shroom. This seems like the right thing to do. Let the peas fly. Alright, everything that left is in the water or on the top. Man, that was a very skewed final, uh, huge wave of zombies, eh? Yeah, this is not a particularly fun level. As far as the minigames go. Okay, how many bucket zombies are there? That sound that they're doing is the sound of a bucket zombie getting hit. Kind of ridiculous. I think there are two or three bucket zombies there. Come on, give me some butter. There we go. There, finally. Jeez, invisible. Invisigool is in the fourth pack in the iPhone version, in the fourth minigame pack. And, uh, yeah, we were listed that as one of the earlier minigames, which is kind of weird. Alright, let's go off to Scene Stars now. So Scene Stars is a very, very interesting level. So the overall goal is not to fend off the zombies, but is literally just to create a bunch of starfruit in the shape of a giant star. So that's what we'll be doing, so we're gonna need some sunflowers for that. Uh, what else? We're gonna need potato mines, we're gonna need walnuts. Garlic is always nice for diverting zombies out of the lane. Pumpkins will be nice to keep the starfruits safe. Squash, and then... Here's the thing, I don't really want to kill the zombies quickly. At least in the iPhone version, there's an achievement for clearing this before the first huge wave of zombies appears. So, I want to kind of hold off and do as little damage as possible while still being able to keep the lawn safe. So, I think Potato Mines and Squash together will be able to help with that. And then... Yeah, I think that'll be pretty sufficient. And then, I don't know, not Snowpea. Maybe Spikeweed? No, I'll actually do Chomper, because Chomper has fast recharge and can insta-kill uh, certain zombies. Ready, set, plant. Fill in all the outline spaces with Starfruit, and that's how we win. So, it's a very unique level, to be sure. So, I'm really hoping that the first zombie doesn't come down the middle lane. That would be really sucky. Okay, cool, he's down there. Potato mine! Because if he went down this lane, because you can't put any plants other than starfruit in the starfruit uh, outlines. 
Which meant that if he went down the middle lane, I would have had to put, like, a garlic or something over there. In order to take him out. Oh, look, there he is. Okay, that's not the direction I thought you were going in, but that's okay. We got it, squash. This is one level where if you purchase the Imitator from the store, which lets you take two of one seed, taking two Starfruit here is great, because then you can build Starfruit really rapidly. Which will really help with the achievement of beating it quickly. I'm actually going to put in more Sunflowers on this level than I normally do. Simply because I want to be able to build Starfruit very, very quickly. So there's our first Starfruit. Yeah, even though Starfruit has a fast recharge, if you can get enough sun, you can basically spam plant them, and being able to uh, plant more than one at once is actually very good. Yeah, I'm going to put more sunflowers down. I want to see if I'm able to... Uh... I'm going to challenge myself to try and beat this before the first flag zombie appears uh, without needing the imitator for the Starfruit. I'm not going to, like, if I beat it, if I beat this level and I don't do it, then fine. I'll wait and try it again when I actually get the imitator. Maybe. I need six more starfruit. I think I think I actually messed up. I don't want the starfruit in positions where they can effectively kill zombies until the end. Again, because when you, when you kill zombies... It's speed, like, you need to kill zombies in order to make the uh, first huge waves appear. But thus far, it looks like we're doing really well. We might actually be able to do it. It's not until you see that the flag zombie appear where you fail the achievement. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Just need one more. So you actually don't even need the imitator. Like, it'll say a huge wave of zombies is approaching, but if you beat it before they actually appear... Yep, there we go. And we get the Shooting Star achievement, if it's actually in the game, but it doesn't look like it is. We unlocked a new minigame. Cool. Big Trouble Little Zombie. That is a new minigame that was not in the iPhone version, so I'll be interesting to see, it'll be interesting to see what that's like. Zomb Aquarium is a very weird minigame. It's barely even a minigame. Click on the tank to feed the zombies. Yeah, so, um, this is weird. Get 100 sun to pass the level. Yeah, so this is this is a really weird level where it's like, take you take care of zombies in an aquarium. They'll give you sun, and you can use sun to eventually buy the trophy. Or you can buy more uh, snorkel zombies. And then you can also click on the tank to spend a tiny bit of sun to create brains. Which will feed them. You need to keep your zombies fed for them to uh, stay alive. It's so weird. This is the weirdest minigame of the bunch. By far. This was part of the first minigame pack in the iPhone version. So again, you just, you just want to keep them fed. Keep buying more, and you'll get more sun, and eventually you can buy the trophy. Yeah, really weird. Definitely the most unique of the minigames. Okay. So when the zombies turn green, that means they need to be fed. So I technically don't even need to feed them until they turn green. I think at this point, it, you can just kind of save up your son in order to get the uh, 
trophy. We got more than enough snorkel zombies. <laughs> it's playing the moon grains theme, which is the nighttime music. Yeah, this is such a bizarre level. My goodness. Almost there. And there we go. Yeah, that is the weirdest and probably the dumbest minigame of the bunch, but hey, at least it's easy. We unlocked a new minigame. Awesome. We get Portal Combat. That's a fun one. And also, that version made the iPhone version crash very consistently after a certain update. So, I haven't actually played that one in a while. Now we're off to Begooled Twist, which I still to this day don't know how to play. I just kind of click around until I walk my way to the end. So, remember Begooled where you slide and try to match? It's the same here, except instead of sliding, you rotate. Click to twist the plants and make matches free. Oh, it'll actually tell you the... Okay. I still do again, I still don't know. It This is weird. Yeah, I still don't know how the, the whole rotating gimmick really works. Like I my brain cannot process being able to twist stuff around. Nowhere near to the level that I could for um bagool regular bagooled. But again, you just gotta make a certain number of matches, and you win. There we go. Yeah, so the, for those of you who know how to play this game in and out for Begooled Twist, then good for you. I cannot. Almost like I, I'm still a complete fraud because again I don't know I don't know how to optimally play so I'll just click around a whole bunch. Thank goodness you don't get penalized for clicking and it not actually doing anything. Otherwise I'd be in a big doo doo. Oh no, he ate a plant. Where are there? Is there are there no moves? Are there seriously no valid moves? It really did not seem like there were any valid moves. Yes, come on, give me the repeaters. Yep, I am not good at this game at all. Oh my gosh, I've lost so many plants. Yep, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just clicking and hoping for the best. may not like it, but it's a valid strategy. While Begooled is one of my favorite minigames, this is one of my least favorite minigames. Five matches to go? Cool. 
I upgraded all my plants. There's no achievement for that for the Bagul twist. But it was still something I wanted to do. There we go. Phew! Yep, that's my strategy for it. Just click wildly and you'll win. <laughs> you unlocked a new minigame. Yay. Alright, it's time to see what Big Trouble Little Zombie is like. Big Trouble Little Zombie. So it's another shrunken zombie level. Is this going to be just like it was in world, uh, level 3-5? Or is this going to be slightly different? No, there are three huge waves for this one. What a nice, delicious pea shooter. Thank you. I also could definitely go for more pea shooters. I guess cherry bombs are okay. Alright, this one is definitely at a higher difficulty than, uh... 3-5, the original small zombie level. No, my poor walnut. Got our defenses. Ooh, good. Another cherry bomb. That'll be nice to have. Nothing like Plants vs. Zombies 2 to make you really appreciate how good cherry bombs are. No. Oh. <laughs> the, the football entourage is arriving. This is not good. Also, how come I haven't gotten any power-ups for Stinky the Snail yet? Why did I put three in that? Well, there are a bunch of football zombies there, I guess. Man, you you really need those. You really need those cherry bombs. They're they are essential on this level. It's, this is a weird idea for a level, like the tiny zombies, but, I mean, I guess it's alright. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Cool, cool. I got my cherry bomb, so let's do this. Oh boy. <laughs> Double cherry bomb. Keep on coming. That's okay, so do the cherry bombs. Ha ha ha, no you don't. I don't think so. Boom. That's the sound that them cherry bombs make. Boom. Okay, not 
I uh, wanted to put him on the lily pad, but maybe it's just as well that I didn't. Ooh, free gem. I would love to have two cherry bombs for the final wave, just to efficiently shut everything down. Oh boy, huge wave of zombies is approaching, we got free cherry bombs. This is gonna be good. Booyah. Alright, that was significantly more fun than Bagul Twist. <laughs> Beautiful. We've unlocked another mini game. So we have Portal Combat, Calm Mikey CM, and Bob Sled Bonanza. Those three I'm very familiar with. Alright, but that'll do it for the minigames for this episode. If we go back to the. Alright, so if we go back to Zen Garden, Stinky the Snail fell asleep. Click to wake him up. So this is Stinky's main gimmick, kind of. Stinky will fall asleep pretty frequently, and just uh, normally he will fall asleep after a couple of minutes, but if you give him the power up, he stays awake for hours. And the power up will also make him very fast. And you might be wondering, well, this Stinky seems really bad. Here's the thing. As I said before, if you give Bug Spray or the Phonograph to the plants when they want them, they will become in a hap they will get into a happy state and will generate coins just very frequently for basically 24 hours. If you got Stinky, if you got a bunch of plants that are all in the happy state and Stinky the Snail with his power up boosted, um, Stinky the Snail is going to collect like a treasure trove of money for you. And that will be the best way of making money. So that's why I'm getting a whole bunch of plants in here, because that way Stinky can collect more money, and that's why I bought Stinky. But man. Is this power up really not sold at the stores? It really doesn't seem to be. That is a shame. Maybe it only appears in adventure mode? The power up better be in this version of the game, otherwise Stinky the Snail is a terrible purchase. But. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll be continuing for the next row of mini games, and we will probably be doing more Zen Garden. Hopefully, we can find some power ups for Stinky the Snail. And as usual, I will probably be attending to my Zen Garden off camera, so it'll likely look a little bit different in next time you see me play the game. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.